Hi everyone, I'm Whitney and normally on this channel I'm sharing sewing related content, either sewing tutorials or showing different things that I've made recently. But today I wanted to do something completely different. Um, I know right, right now a lot of people have their kids at home and um, you know sometimes you need all the help you can get with keeping your kids entertained and so I wanted to share some of the things that I've been doing with my kids that are hands-on projects that they can do um, you know we've always been a homeschooling family but these are just some other kinds of things that we like to do and also I have some things to share from Arteza they are a made in America company and they have sent me a few things this week to try out and I'm really excited about the things that they sent um, but let's get started with some of the ideas. So obviously there are the things that everyone goes to such as Legos. My kids are just getting old enough to start following Lego tutorials. Here is one of the projects that they made uh, today. They also built a little boat today from Legos and we just have some of the classic sets that we had bought on clearance a while back. And since they're still pretty young, I go through and I pick out all the pieces uh, based on the little booklet that came with the Legos. And I go through and pull out all the pieces for one of the projects that's in here. They have several different ones. And I'll put them all in this little container. And then they can take the container and they go and work with my husband um, to put it together he's just there in case they need help um, and that way if one of them needs a break from school um, say I'm working on reading with my oldest daughter then my youngest daughter can go and work with my husband on a Lego project and it's a way to get them separated so that um, one of them can focus on learning right then and the other one can have something to do with their hands and it, they've been really enjoying it Another thing that they like to do together is actually light bright stuff. And this is one of the projects they did recently. Here's how it looks. This is one of the newer light brights and um, it's more compact than the older ones. We have one of the older ones as well. I picked up this one and the other one at a thrift store for really inexpensive. And um, we've used a lot of the pages that come with it. So since then, I have been purchasing actually vintage Light Bright pages. So this is one of them that fits our larger, the older Light Bright style. And it is the SeaWorld refill pack. And these are really cool. They're color pictures that you do with the Light Bright. So we're really excited about those. So I want to stop right here and go over the stuff that Arteza sent over. Uh, they let me go through their website and pick out some items that I wanted to receive. And since I've had different um, rulers, cutting mats, and rotary cutters from them in the past, I decided to go more the direction of kids' items this time since we are home 24-7 right now. Um, so I picked out a few items. They... Um, sent on to me and they arrived at my house within three days which is amazing I did not expect them to arrive that fast especially with all the stuff that's going on right now um, but I am so thrilled with the speed that everything arrived and as I mentioned it's made in America products so that is really nice um, yeah so the first thing I picked out is this Arteza kids magnetic letters and numbers set and it comes with 214 pieces. So I will be opening up this here in just a second. I also picked out slightly more for me. I mean, the kids can use it, but slightly more for me. Um, a set of 42 pottery and clay sculpting tools. And um, the reason I picked this one is I do wanna do some clay and pottery things with the kids when they're a little bit older. I did some clay stuff in um, art class in school and I really enjoyed it. But I also thought this might come in handy for some cosplay props later as well. So like I said, it's kind of for the kids, kind of for me as well. I'm gonna open this here in just a little bit. And then the big kahuna. Oh, let me get it, lift it up. My goodness. <laughs> I really enjoyed doing perler beads when I was a kid or fuse beads or whatever they're called. Um, and so when I saw these on the Arteza website, I knew I had to get them. There are 3,000, sorry, 
incorrect. 30,000 fused beads in this set. Is that not insane? 30,000. And it comes with, let's see here, 45 vibrant colors, 30,000 beads, five pegboards, five pieces of ironing paper that's reusable, and two pairs of tweezers in addition to the case. So I am so excited about this. As I said, I loved doing these as a kid. And I think that since I've been working with the kids on doing the light bright, so they understand like um, things have to go in a particular spot and they're used to like picking up the pieces and stuff. I think that at least my older daughter might be ready to start in on fuse beads, which is so exciting because I know she's gonna create some really awesome things. Um, like I said, I've done a lot of fuse beads in the past and I absolutely loved them. Um, so I will open these up later and show you actually inside all of them. But let me share some of my other ideas really quickly for um, some things that we've been doing to keep our kids occupied. So some of my other things are, of course, like the little painting kits that you can get at Dollar Tree. I tend to buy those up and store them when we see fun designs. So I always have several of those on hand. And we've definitely gone through... Uh, a few of them during this past month which is nice we also have like sticker books from Dollar Tree um, lots of different little things like that and then we always have lots of these lacing cards and I really think these are fun um, my youngest daughter really enjoys these and um, when we're doing read-alouds for like chapter books uh, my youngest daughter especially will get one of these sets because we have several sets of them she'll pick a set and she will just sit there and and, you know do her sewing cards as she calls them and she just absolutely loves it and then she wanted to move up to actual sewing so we did try that out a little while back this is um, a sewing project that my older daughter did and we're using foam plates and the reason for this is um, it's they can poke through the plate anywhere they want um, but it's like sturdy enough that it holds its shape and everything and um, so it's kind of like using fabric and an embroidery hoop but simpler and um, so they had a plastic needle and I put embroidery floss on it and I just tape it onto the back to start and then they just sew in and out like you would on fabric um, for this one in particular I did take a sharpie and I put dots everywhere that she wanted the design to be. She told me she wanted to go around the outside and she did that and then she wanted to sew lines across it. And so I put little dots trying to space them out, the, you know, evenly space them. And she did an amazing job. I'm so proud of her. So that is a really, really fun way to introduce sewing to your kids if um, they think that they might be into it or you think they're ready to do it, get a plastic needle and some styrofoam plates and have at it. It is so much fun. They really, really enjoy doing it. So anyway, now I want to open up the things that Arteza sent. And by the way, they were so kind to send over a coupon code. I will put it here on the screen and also in the description box down below. And I'll have links to the exact items that I showed in this video if you're interested in them or just want to go check out their website. They have some really good, um, good quality art products. Um, they have for drawing, painting, like I said earlier, they have um, stuff for quilting, like rotary cutters and mats. They also have things for kids. They have a wide variety of crafting products and everything that I've gotten from them, I have enjoyed. So definitely go check them out. So please pardon the weird setup here. Uh, my entire floor is full of supplies for making masks. So I can't set up my usual backdrop for this but I wanted to go ahead and show opening this because I wanted to let you all see it at the same time that I first see it. Let's see. And of course I can't find the right scissors right now so I'm having to use my thread snips. <laughs> Don't do that at home. Okay. So it looks like we have the dry erase markers and an eraser, I'm guessing. And I believe this is the marker, the magnetic marker board. 
Yes. Okay. Oh, how cute. That's really cute. Okay, I'm going to set the markers down. And then there is a case. I really like the size of this case right here. Awesome. Oh, I love this. Okay, cool. Um, it comes with uppercase and lowercase. So we have like an uppercase and lowercase C. And all of the consonants are blue and the vowels are red. That is so fantastic. I have seen other um, homeschoolers and different people who have sets like this where the consonants are one color and vowels are another and I think that is fantastic. I have been wanting that but I didn't know where to get them so I am so glad that that's how this set is. And then they have um, punctuation that is orange and then numbers are yellow. So that is so awesome. I absolutely love that. Oh and it looks like there's an animal for every letter. Oh, how cute. That is adorable. I love that. I I didn't notice that on the website. I just thought it was a random assortment of animals. I didn't realize there was one for each letter. That is so cute. I absolutely love this. And I know the kids are really going to enjoy this. So right now, um, Skylar has just started learning to read. She can read a few things like cat, hat, that sort of stuff. And um, Peyton is rocking and rolling with reading. She is on, um, we're doing Hooked on Phonics, the like old version that we got used. And she's on the third of five levels of it. And so she's doing really great, but both of them can definitely use this for spelling. Um, I think it's going to be awesome for Skylar to um, just drive home those phonetic sounds even more and then it's to start doing spelling with Peyton because um, we haven't really dived too much into spelling yet, just mostly reading. Um, so these are going to be so awesome. I am so super excited about this set. Next up is the pottery and clay sculpting tools. It says there are 42 different things in here and will I know how to use all 42 of those? Absolutely not. <laughs> but I can definitely learn and I believe, yeah, it says there's some helpful tips if you use this QR code on their website. So that's really cool. Wow. I know what like a few of these are for. <laughs> But this, I love this. They have wooden handles that look really, really nice. So there is a sponge. I know that's important for keeping your clay wet while you're working with it. Oh, I love this. These, these are so nice looking and feeling. This is so cool. I don't want to get them all out right now, but these are just really, really nice, and I cannot wait to use these. And on to the last one. This is wrapped up and taped up super well, which is nice because it came in this, and then it was inside a cardboard box inside the mailing box, which I definitely appreciate because... It would be so terrible if this had like spilled during shipping, but there's no chance that it could have spilled because it was packaged so nicely. Okay. Okay, cool. This is one of those kind of boxes where you can like unlatch each level. So there's the top level. And then you can like take off another level. I opened the wrong one. <laughs> like that. So you can send like one level with one kid and have another level to work with yourself. So that is really, really cool. Let's see. I've had fused beads in the past. Like I said, these feel really good quality. The colors are super nice. Let me look at the pegboards themselves. Let's see. Whoop, 
there went one bead. <laughs> and another. <laughs> Yeah, the pegboard feels really good quality. The pegs are nice and tall. I've had some pegboards before that, um, like the little points on each spot weren't tall enough and it just felt like the beads weren't staying in place as well when you're working with them, but these feel really, really good. So I am so excited. These are some new supplies that we have the first new supplies we've had since being uh, quarantined and all of that so I know it's going to be so much fun and let's be honest I'm going to use this just as much as the kids if not more I absolutely love doing projects like that but um, really I'm most excited about this one right here because um, we are going to start using this tomorrow no joke we do homeschool every uh, every weekday so Monday through Friday and I know we are going to have a blast with this and just playing around with the letters and the animals because we can not only use this for spelling and um, you know phonetic sounds and all of that but we can use it for storytelling as well that's something we started doing recently where um, we put a bunch of either random things together or we get um, just some different pictures and things and we have each one, each of us take turns picking one out without looking at it and then we have to make up a story about it. So we could definitely do that with these little animal shapes. We could, you know, pick out two of them and then have to make up a story about a jaguar and an elephant. And I think that would just be so much fun, especially if we worked in that we have to maybe use a certain vocabulary word or something like that in the story. Um, it'll just be a lot of fun. So yeah. I am really excited about this. Let me know what you are doing, if you have kids, what you're doing to help them just stay occupied and keep their hands busy during this time when they can't be playing outside. Because obviously, playing outside is awesome if you can do that, but uh, you may live in an area where you can't do that, or maybe it's just a you know, the weather's bad that day. What do you like to do to keep your hands busy during that time? Like I said, we love doing these kind of projects where it's hands-on, but it's also using their brain some of, you know, figuring out where the next Lego goes or figure out where the next light bright peg goes or those sort of things. Um, yeah, so just let me know your ideas down in the comments below. Maybe I will find one of your comments useful or someone else who's reading the comments uh, may get an idea from you. Don't forget to check out the coupon code and the links in the video description that I mentioned earlier. And until next time, bye.